Huge moves that we're having both to the upside and the downside recently. I want to take a simple look at the technicals. This is a one-year chart of the S&P 500. Overall, you see an uptrend, a choppy uptrend, though. And the big question right now is whether or not we are looking at a V-bottom or some sort of bearish uh, congestion. There is the possible V-bottom. However, it could, uh, in fact, be something that's called a bear pennant. The 200-day moving average in yellow and then 3,000 is really, those are the lines in the sand. Above those levels where we are today suggests that we could have some sort of a, a bottom back up toward the high. However, if we go back below the 200-day moving average, we were there yesterday on the close or below 3,000, it makes a much stronger case uh, for work to be done to the downside. Volatility breeds volatility, volatility. More big moves are likely ahead. Net, net, Ritika, this chart probably suggests that there's more work to be done to the downside even if there are some of these tremendous uh, rallies that we've had over the last couple of days, Ritika. Thanks, Abigail. Well, I'm looking at the credit market, which looks to be stabilizing after some steep losses at the end of February. With high yield bonds are rallying for a second day. They're having their best day since June. And as those spreads narrow now, meanwhile, HYG, which is the biggest junk bond ETF, saw its second biggest inflow ever of $1.23 billion. And the spread narrowing can be a leading indicator for equity. So some of those bulls could take comfort that they're could potentially be some more upside for stocks, Renita. Thanks, Ritika. Crude oil has come off its highs for today because Russia and Saudi Arabia can't seem to agree on whether deeper production cuts are needed to offset the impact of the coronavirus on WTI crude oil and other oil. Now, Saudi Arabia and Russia also participated in today's OPEC Plus Joint Ministerial Monitoring Committee meeting, and it culminated with Russian Energy Minister Alexander Novak leaving because of the disagreement. Again, Capital in New York said OPEC's meeting falling apart could hurt the momentum that oil had built up so far. WTI crude oil, by the way, is down this year.